a few days ago, this package arrived on my doorstep. It's a package that I've been waiting for and am so excited to open and show you what's inside. But first, welcome to my new home office. My family, we just moved to a new house in the past few months and that gave me an opportunity to design a brand new office and I want to take you through everything I did to make this truly feel like my own. If you've followed me for the past few years, you know I've gone from bedroom office to in apartment office to garage studio where I had a ton of freedom and flexibility to design it how I wanted. And so moving here gave me a fun <laughs> new experiment in trying to design the office of my dreams. And so there's a few things that I've done a little bit differently with this office and I'm planning to do, which is a lot having to do with what I'm putting up on the wall behind me. I want this to be a functional office for making videos and content, but also I want it to be a space that I really truly want to just live in and want to be in, even if I'm not making videos. And I want it to be a place where other people can come enjoy the space. And I really wanted it to feel like a representation of who I am and my journey. So I'm gonna break down everything I've done so far. Now you might be asking yourself, what, what about that box that you showed us in the beginning? Don't worry, we're getting to that. That's going to come into play in just a minute. Let's start off by looking at my desk, which is a new mid-century modern desk we got from Wayfair, and arguably the most important part of my office where I can get some work done. So I'm still using my iMac, and I wanted to keep it as clean as possible. You know if you're a creator, this is difficult. So I did some stuff like purchasing a couple desk stands for my camera and light itself. I'll include links to all of the stuff in the description below. They're nice to clean up and smaller form factor. This one's holding my Fujifilm X-T2, which I'm using as a webcam, or even when I'm doing some coarse material, it looks great. I can swap the lenses out and it just boosts that quality compared to the internal webcam on my iMac. And even though it's a few generations old, it works great for that. I actually purchased a new light, the Aperture Amaran P60C, which is a smaller form factor LED panel. It's a great light for basic lighting and it's super small, so it doesn't take up too much room or visual space in my office, which is what I was looking for. I actually purchased the 300D, the Aperture 300D, and returned it because it was, although nice, a lot of YouTubers use it, it was just too humongous for my small office. And for my microphone, I'm still using my Heil PR40. I've been using it for years and love it. And aside from that, my desktop has a nice globe, a spin a day, keeps the wanderlust away, as they say. Behind my desk, I have two sound panels, and I also have one opposite the wall to try to dampen the echo a little bit. I also purchased a nice rug that warms up the office a bit visually, uh, also heat-wise, retains heat, but also dampens that, that echo quite a bit too. And a couple quick tech-related things. I'm using the Scarlett 2i2 to get my XLR microphone into the computer and I'm using a Magewell capture card to get the Fuji mirrorless camera into the computer as well. So that's my desk setup, and overall it's super functional, and I'm really enjoying it so far, and it is a cohesive vibe. That was the point of redoing the office, trying to have a cohesive vibe with the whole room. So behind me, similar colors, similar tones, lots of textures. We got this new chair, which was just from Target, a new bookshelf that holds all kinds of important mementos, gifts that I've received in the past, books that I've purchased or also received, things that mean a lot to me and create a ba great background for my video, as well as just a nice place to sit, rest, read, 
do some work if I don't want to be sitting at the computer desk. And I've got to give a shout out to my wife, Isabel, for helping design the office, bringing in some plants and other features to make it really feel like a welcoming space. There's a small closet, which I have tried to organize a bit better. Don't mind the messy bins up above, but I designed a shelf system, which makes it fairly easy to grab lenses, flashes, microphones, cameras, things that I use constantly for both photography and video. It is nice to look at and is inspiring to get out there and create some new videos and take photos. So one of the things I wanted to do with this office is put up some prints, some prints of photos that I have taken myself. And I was actually contacted by a company, Sal Digital, which I've never worked with before and I wanted to give them a shot at doing some prints. Usually I just go through like Costco or Shutterfly. I'm not that picky about the quality, like the pixel peeping of the quality of my prints that I have. But Saul Digital reached out and they decided to sponsor some prints. I just got the box in the mail today and I'm super excited to see what they did. Uh, I ordered a bunch of different samples of metal prints, canvas prints, a lot of different things. So I think I need a bigger space though. So let's go to the other room. <sighs> wow, look at this one. This one is a sound absorbing, soundproofing canvas panel. So I get to combine my photography with something that's functional, which is awesome. Oh, this is another nice one. Okay, so this is just a standard canvas. Well, it's all packaged really well too. Nice. Oh, these are so, so great. So this I cropped really skinny into my great grandfather lived in this building, third floor up. This is like a, a museum quality print, I believe they called it. can say is thank you Sal Digital for sponsoring the decoration of my office and my home truly these are going to be prints that are on the wall for friends and family to see when they come visit and for us to see every time we walk down our hallways every time I go into my office to work and it's going to make my office feel more truly like my own so thank you Sal again I I love the prints and for anyone else that's interested in these prints, um, getting prints like this, I'll link down to Sal Digital below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little new office tour. Things are going to change. If you know me, I never stick with one thing for too long. Although I truly am trying to design this office to be one that I'll be happy with for the long run making it both, as I've mentioned, functional, being able to film, like this is another background option, which is cool. I have a few different setups that I could use in this space to change it up, but also being a space that is just nice to be in, inviting, warm, and inspiring. A place I can go into every day, sort of get away from the rest of the craziness and be inspired to put out great, content, make videos, take photos, and everything else I do. So thank you for watching this video. If you have questions about any of the things that are in my space, 
I'll try to leave links to all of it down below, but post a comment, let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like. If you have suggestions as well, I would love to hear it. All right, have a beautiful day. See you next time.